Hey everybody, so I'm back. I've just put, posted one video, I'm going to do another. But Lucy James from Willow.academy sent me some amazing bits this week. Um, I wasn't even been a lick ass either. I was actually really, really shocked. Um, but it was a really nice gesture. I was absolutely chuffed and she sent me these beautiful bits. This one I actually use anyway. Um, it was one of my favourites until she sent me the course five and one and now that's my new baby because... If you watched my previous video, it just took off my acrylic um, in, yeah, moments. It was absolutely fantastic. So, yeah, still have lots of love for this one, though. Really, really like it. It's a course. I will link everything um, down below. I'll probably whack these on YouTube as well. Um, I don't know the name of everything to me. They're just default bits, which Lucy probably thinks is absolutely savage. But I know this one is the penultimate bit. I actually have it in purple as well. It's absolutely stunning. Um, these are all lefty bits. Uh, the penultimate is absolutely amazing for when you're doing your finished filing. So if you're like me and you're super duper lazy and you don't want to suffer from RSI, get a penultimate bit. Can't remember the life of me what this one is called, but I will link it below. I actually have it already um, in red. So I think this one's actually finer. So I'm going to try this one today. But this one's quite old anyway, so it actually probably does need replacing. So I'm absolutely terrible for not replacing my stuff, but... Yeah, I suppose that's going to change when I start work, when lockdown actually finishes. But yeah, this is really good. This is really amazing cuticle bit. You can get right down your side walls with it. Um, as you can see, it's actually got the diamond bit actually wraps around the um, e-file bit. Yeah, it just blows that shit off that nail within seconds. Absolutely fab. And I've got this. I think it's a fine. It feels fine. Yeah, it is fine. It's red, Sarah, you dumbass. Yeah, fine. So this would be perfect. Probably another actual perfect one for a bit of finish filing. Um, especially whipping around the cuticle, especially this bit. Because I found earlier when I was actually removing my acrylic, and, you know, um, I just found it just fitted and was so snug in the cuticle area. I absolutely fucking loved it. Absolutely obsessed with it. Um... I'm going to quickly prep my nail um, with the bits I've got. She also sent me, sorry Lucy, before I forget, um, she also sent me a skin polisher. I believe it's a skin polisher. You guys probably know it as a Russian ball. That's how I describe it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try this. I don't generally tend to do like the full Russian manicure just because I find I've got very sensitive cuticles, um, very sensitive skin around the cuticle, sorry, and I do tend to bleed. So I have to be really careful. Um, but I do have lots of other bits from Lucy as well. Um, that's in my collection and as I said I will list everything down below they are super duper not expensive um, worth every single penny um, so this is actually one of my favorite bits and I find this just gets all that shizzle off my cuticle with no issues again that's the one that I just showed you but I probably need to replace probably need to replace it with that other one um, I can't remember the names of them I'm sorry I suck um, every bit that you'll actually get from Lucy actually has willow I don't know if you can see it um, actually has willow um, engraved on the bit which I think is absolutely amazing this is really really good for getting into the cuticle area the Anastasia I find is absolutely brilliant especially for getting into your sidewalls especially if you've got a client who's a bit of a bleeder as well I find this is a really nice safe alternative to take off the cuticle without um, freaking your clients out especially if you've got one of those clients who like shit themselves every time you come out with an e-file I think this is really really good for them and it really settles them down Another bit, I don't actually use this one very often. I don't know why. I actually need to take Lucy's Russian e-file course and actually learn how to use all these bits properly. Because don't get me wrong, I know how to e-file, but to do it as extensively as she does would be like super amazing. But yeah, this one I don't actually use often, but I think I'm going to have to try next time. And yes, the Russian ball again. Oh, and I will say I have these. I have loads of these. They come in the cutest box. Um, I do believe these are the yeah, 240 ones. I always use these. Um, I always use a mandrel and a sanding band. Sorry, Liz, this is not your mandrel. It's a cheap one from eBay. Yes, I suck. Um, yeah, I always use her sanding bands. I think they're amazing. But I'll stop banging on and I am going to pop this over here. I'm going to do my normal e file prep. There you can see my thumb is actually pretty decent because. I literally done my nails days ago. So I'm going to pick up this little bad boy and chuck the other one out because it's probably absolutely fucked. Oh, and she sent me a pit bit as well. I'm actually, I actually think I'm going to use that first because I really, really like the look of that. That looks quite fit. If you can hear my kids, I'm really sorry. I have five of them. 
and they're absolutely fucking feral. So let's try this one out. You guys will see me. Yep, there we go. Perfect. Um, oh, yeah, that feels nice. Yeah, I haven't even pushed my cuticles back, guys. I literally have not needed to because, yeah, i done such a thorough job the other day. But I think it's nice for you to see how these bits look. This is really nice, though. It's not sharp. I don't feel like I'm going to catch myself on it. Oh, I have got a bit of cuticle on the side. And it's taken off that cuticle on the side really nicely. Yeah, absolutely love the finish. Yeah, I really like that. And I also recommend, if you guys don't have it, one of these. Look, look, how close is this? Look, you can also get that off of Lucy's site. Absolutely fabulous. I've been wanting one of those for ages and I could never bloody get one because it was always out of stock. And then one day I was just like proper skin and I saw she had them on her site and I was like, oh my God, between a packet of fags or getting one of those, I was like, get one of those. <clears throat> needs must, guys, needs must. Right, let's try this one. Oh yeah, this one's a bit of a bad boy. You can feel it. Yeah, oh yeah. Okay, so there's me hanging. Oh, I've got no cuticle. I lied. There is the little bit that is literally right at the bottom. It's getting it off. I can feel it coming off. Ooh. There you go. Don't think you know everything, Sarah, because you clearly don't. Biatch. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can tell how long it's been since I've actually used that other refill bit. It was probably that blunt, though. Because I've probably used the absolute crap out of it. Yeah, okay, so you, look, you can see it's actually just picking up a bit from here. And I should probably use Anastasia to try and buff a bit of that off. And usually I do nip my, um, even if I've got a tiny bit, I'll nip it off. I just can't help it. It's just the training I did. It was just, you know, nip all the way. Do not have that crap in your pictures. Oh, yeah, see, look, use this bit. It's actually really good for... Really nice bit. I just find so nice clients. But I can't, I do not know how to rush an EFL. I'm not even going to pretend I know. I don't have a clue. I, it's like I said, I really need to go and do a course and learn how to do it properly. Um, but I am going to try this big ball because I have got a little bit of excess skin. Which does actually need to come off. So. Oh, let's just like flick that off easily. Okay, that's not even. I've got this on nine, nine RPMs on my, and I have a try at a speed, so it's a really powerful e-file. I've had it for years, and so it's just brilliant. But yeah, this is nine RPMs, no burning, it's not irritating. It's quite nice, actually. So yeah, like I said, I am super sensitive, and I have got the teeniest, weeniest little cup. Um, that is just due to me having the most sensitive freaking skin in the world. This is why I don't tend to brush my own nails, but... At the end of the day, I know some people absolutely love it. And I'd love to have some clients who've got that lovely, clean look. But it's a needs must sort of thing. Um, I'm going to keep this video in real time, even though I've waffled on for like ages. Because if I cut it out, you've got to cut out my waffle. You can't cut my waffle out. My waffle's just the best. Um, I'm just going to use my sanding band quickly. I only tend to use that on about 3 RPMs. Um, but I do love my sanding bands just fine my adhesion is so much better um when i've used a sanding band i know everyone has a different opinion fair play to people like to use their files but you know i sit there and watch youtube and i'm see people using like you know a normal nail file and i'm like dude save yourself some rsi and if anyone doesn't know what rsi is it's repetitive strain injury um you know rsi carpal tunnel all of those horrible nasty things shoulder back pain jesus christ save your shoulders guys you know get some sanding bands they are not bad to use on the natural nail i've been doing it for four years i've never had an issue i mean despite the fact yes my nails are flimsy but that is just me i'll have a crap diet i need some bloody vitamins and i actually need to eat veg <laughs> so that's not actually anything to do with the fact that i wear acrylic 24 7 because anyone who knows me knows I wear acrylic 24-7, but yeah, look, it's just it's just so easy. It's so quick and it's done. And there's no pain or injury from it at all. My camera is so dusty. But yeah, look, and that's just all. Yeah, I've got a tiny little cut, but I did say I've got the sort of skin which bleeds really easily. That's just like, 
that's just my life for you but i hope you enjoyed it guys i will link everything down below and i'll probably whack this on youtube as well for shits and giggles and see if anybody does actually watch them i'll be surprised see you later